away from Israel and West Asia to Sri Lanka, which is witnessing a rare moment in history. One family, the Rajapaksas, have taken total control of the country. For the first time, Sri Lanka has a president and prime minister who are brothers. Such coincidences rarely happen in politics. One precedent reported of siblings holding the highest two public offices in a single country is from Poland. Now, will the new regime in the island republic alter power equations in Asia? A two-term president is the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. 74-year-old Mahinda Rajapaksha was sworn in by his younger sibling president, Gotabaya Rajapaksha, as the head of the government. With uh, both brothers in office, Sri Lanka has got a decisive rule where one family will call the shots on virtually everything in the country. As Prime Minister Mahinda will control the parliament, the highest decision-making body of a country of nearly 22 million people. And with his brother at the helm, any decision he takes will prevail. The writ of the Rajapaksa brothers shall run unchallenged. And now we have our principal diplomatic uh, correspondent, uh, Siddhant Sibyl, now joining us live here on We on Dispatch for more. Uh, Siddhant, uh, talk to us. Uh, you know, Prime Minister Modi had cultivated a relationship with the Rajapaksa camp even when they were in the opposition. Now they are the ruling government front and center, both the Prime Minister and the President belonging to one family. Uh, so in that sense, uh, this uh, should spell good news for India in terms of uh, carry forwarding uh, the ties and making them better. Well, uh, when it comes to India's neighborhood first policy, we have seen how the Indian uh, policy makers, the, the Indian Prime Minister has been reaching out uh, to them. And uh, when it comes to Sri Lanka, we have seen the Indian Prime Minister visiting the country many times. In fact, in his second term, uh, Sri Lanka was the second country he visited after uh, Maldives. But uh, uh, just a short while ago, India's Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson uh, reacted on a question on how does India seize uh, the new regime in Sri Lanka. And two points uh, came out. First, of course, of course, uh, he said that when it comes to Tamils, the minority Tamils, the Indian External Affairs Minister who was uh, on a short brief visit to Sri Lanka clearly told the Sri Lankan President, the new Sri Lankan President, that the national reconciliation process should continue and it should take care of the aspirations of the Tamil minorities. Secondly, of course, there have been reports about how Rajapakshas might be uh, pro-China that might harm India's interest given the fact that previously India did not have a very good experience on that, the MEA spokesperson said that when it comes to ties between Colombo and New Delhi, these are two ties not impacted by a, a third country. And in fact, that is true also to a large extent because we have seen how New Delhi has reached out to Sri Lanka significantly when it comes to development of the country. Uh, New Delhi is a major development partner. In fact, uh, uh, India's ambulance service has been lauded a lot. India has been constructing houses, especially uh, in the, the northern Sri Lankan region, which shows that New Delhi is clear uh, on its intent and is clearly trying to make sure uh, that when it comes to Colombo, it remains a natural ally, especially in the wider region. And for that to happen, Siddhant, it's important that the question of the Tamils and their uh, you know, the, uh, safety and security in Sri Lanka is uh, something that comes as an assurance uh, from the Sri Lankan government. Well, that remains uh, the top priority. In fact, we know that uh, the new Sri Lankan uh, uh, president will be coming to India on 29th of November. In fact, he will be on a two-city visit in India. Uh, India First, he will be visiting New Delhi for the political engagement and a third, uh, second city is being right now looked uh, on. And uh, the, the, there are indications that uh, the new Sri Lankan leader might go to both Gaya as well, though it is not confirmed as of now. But this is the second city which is being uh, uh, looked uh, on. But if we look at the ties between the two countries, they have been on positive trajectory and largely New Delhi understands when it comes to needs of the neighborhood, New Delhi would be uh, trying to focus on as a major development partner and not as a big brother.
Siddhan Sibal, our principal diplomatic correspondent, getting us the latest on India Sri Lanka ties and more importantly, that all important visit from the new president, uh, Gautabai Rajapaksha, to India. Thank you, Siddhan, for being this year on Way on Dispatch.